In the previous video, we established that optimal airflow and pressure are critical factors to your blasting success. The first step in ensuring optimal CFM and pressure was choosing the right size compressor for your specific setup. Now, this mindset of optimizing flow and pressure now carries forward through all subsequent links in our equipment chain. Strategic compromises that reduce flow and pressure will be made along the way, but only in instances where the compromise actually improves safety or increases the efficiency of the blaster or the efficiency of our abrasive. Now, with that being said, the next improvement to our system involves the bull hose conveying our compressed air. In many instances, you can double your blasting rate simply by increasing the size of this bull hose. Big nozzles need big hoses, and here's a good rule of thumb. Your bull air hose should be at least four times the size of your nozzle orifice. Now, many times while visiting job sites, our team encounters setups like the hypothetical one in front of you, which uses a three quarter inch or one inch airline to feed a number seven nozzle. The optimal airline for a number seven nozzle is actually a two inch, which is 50 millimeter ID bull hose supplying your blast pot. Should your setup not be a single blaster, but instead four nozzles, a three inch or 76 millimeter ID bull hose is needed. Any air delivery hoses smaller than our recommendations will simply choke the flow lowering efficiency and threatening valuable air pressure at the nozzle. I was at a job site in Arizona and we had a, a blast pot that was running four blasters backed up with a 1600 CFM compressor running four number seven nozzles. We had an air dryer and we had two inch bull hose going from the compressor, the air dryer, and then another two inch bull hose from the air dryer to the blast pot. Checking the pressure loss, we only had 80 PSI at the nozzle. As we were working back, we had the right size blast hose, it was inch and a half blast hose. We had the right size valves on the blast pot. Each two inch bull hose running four number seven nozzles, we were losing 10 PSI per 50 foot section. We upgraded that to a three inch bull hose and gained, regained our 20 PSI that we had lost in those two 50 foot sections of two inch bull hose. Hope this helps. Now that we've captured the air, our next optimization involves optimizing it further. Coming up, let's discuss an air prep.